Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Escape Academy. Last time we left off, we d did not perform well, and hopefully I can resolve that today. Hey, glad I caught you. I've been doing some thinking since I took over. There are a lot of things here in need of modification. Huh. That's suspicious as all hell. The headmaster goes missing. Now you're in charge, and you all of a sudden start saying that we need to make some modifications? Uh. The old syllabus wasn't cut that. It was producing good students, but not great ones. Headmaster Solange forgot what it takes to make it, an escape, make it as an escapist out there in the real world. She was willing to coach you, nudge you across the finish line. You don't get that luxury on a real mission. Later. I will be running things based on sympathy. That ain't my style. Don't worry, though. You never needed coddling anyway. That's intimidating. Yeah, I find it incredibly suspicious that you're saying that about the headmaster, considering she just went missing when she really didn't seem like she wanted to go missing. Processing. I will always be grateful for the guidance Headmaster Solange provided as I mastered the ways of escape. However, change is inevitable. <clears throat> With Headmaster Eel in charge, the academic experience will naturally adapt to his methods. <clears throat> But there is no data suggesting the Academy's purpose will be hindered. The reduction of top quality escapists will not be interrupted. Okay, cool. Thresher? Damn, it's like no one's been taking care of this place since I've been gone. Can't believe they thought Jeb would be able to keep up with the danger craftsmanship I baked into this place. Leave the room in the hands of someone who can't even beat the puzzles? Come on! What the hell was all this stuff on the third floor? Was this guy living in there or what? Okay, yeah, you're getting, like, really weirdly aggressive. <sighs> oh, hey. Sorry you caught me at a bad time. Eel's making me take my name off the monument of escape. <sighs> Says I haven't earned my place yet. He hasn't even been back for a year. It's just not fair, man. Yeah, Eel's starting to get a little bit controlling. So, what do I want to do? I'm into the library. After the experience I had last time, I want to take a nice, chill trip to the library. Libraries calm me. Where there's smoke. Time limit 20 minutes, difficulty 3. Okay, as long as it's not like a 4 or 5. The final one's probably a 5. Oh, hey, good to see you hitting the books. I am too. Gotta study when I can if I want to get that teaching license. Gotta admit, I'm having trouble focusing though. God, me too recently when I try to read books. Been pretty hard for me to adjust since Eel or, I mean, Headmaster Eel took over to school. He runs things so differently. From what I've seen, he's just pushing kids too hard. Anyway, at least I've still got this place to lean on in these trying times. Do you know the library is the oldest building? What is that stuff on the top floor? Is that smoke? You know the library is the oldest building in the school? In fact, it... Wait, you smell smoke? Holy moly, this mother's on fire! <laughs> Eel, are you doing a book burning? I'm sorry, Jeb, I will save you. Escape the fire or I'll try my best. Okay, there's no time to read. If you wish to escape, just flip through. Flip through. Well, I can't flip through this book. So, is there any items or anything for me to pick up? Okay, we got exhibits hanging out around here. View, what is that way up there? That looks like, so this bookcase must move, right? Oh, open. Oh God, there's stuff in here. Someone was studying this tablet, it must be important. Down, up. Okay, wait, there's there's stuff going on. The golden rule, think twice. Inspect, nobody would mind if I borrowed a couple of bucks, right? Yeah. Cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. So that's Latin. Okay, and that's some sort of libertus. Okay, we got we got things going on in there. I don't know what to do with any of those things yet, though. So we're gonna ignore that for now. Okay, we got some things there. It says just flip through. So what am I doing with this? Uh, weird. Don't know what. Oh, does it have to match that? Probably. So, wait, so this is, these cranks below look promising. Oh, I'm missing a crank. Okay, well I can't do that until I find another crank. 
He hurls through the ages. Riveting. <laughs> Advanced lockpicking. I don't understand a word in there. Wisdom through efforts. Weird. Escape is time. Tragedy. The escape creep. Uh, patrons can't flee. Batter flood. That sounds interesting. Okay, we got things to inspect over here. Okay, so I'm not finding any items that I need to... And I don't have, uh... Yeah, I need some items. That's my current problem. So, you say... There's no time to read. If you wish to escape, just flip through. And that looks like a shield. Just, just flip through, it says. Uh, so it says flip, flip through. Okay. There we go. Yeah, okay. Wow. Secret exit. I thought it was just Academy Legend. Oh. It's our way out of here. God, at least I solved something. Okay. So, an escapist forges their own destiny. An escapist goes above and beyond. An escapist weighs the options. An escapist takes pride in their work. So we need to get four things and put them here, I'm guessing, which I don't have access to right now. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I need items is the main part here. So where am I supposed to get items? Because I need a crank and I need an hourglass to go over there. So we got that. That's what. That's why it was showing that little shield icon. It was that. It was. It was what those things look like over there. Okay. What about in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is broken. Like right, up, left, left, left. Right, up, left. So let, let's let's take a picture of this, I suppose, so we can potentially do something with this later. So boom. Okay, got a picture of that. Cool. So yeah, I wonder if this means do it twice, like right, right. That's how it worked in Tunic, and then up, and then left, and then left, and then left, left. Maybe that's how it does it? I... I don't know. And then you, up here, you look weird. Why do you look like that? Oh. Um... Okay, well that's the solution here. Okay, so... That... And then... This... Um... Most of it in there? Okay, that's weird. So, it does move, so we, we're gonna have to time it correctly. So that one needs to be timed, that one's already in the right spot, so now I just need a final hourglass. If I can find one more hourglass, then I know how to solve that puzzle. The problem is, of course, finding the hourglass. Because I see nothing around here, really. Okay, maybe I can get in here, down, up. Oh, so maybe maybe this is the okay, maybe 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 that's what that picture I got was. So right up left left left. No, that's not right. So and this says someone was studying this tablet. It must be important. So what does that mean? Down up like that. It looks like the tab icon on the computer. Except tab icon is like left, right. That's what I think of. I don't know... What I'm supposed to get out of that. Yeah, we can't get in there. Think twice. Kogidio. Ergo, I think. Therefore I am. So... Kogido think. You underline both of those. It says think twice. So... Kogido... Okay, so think... Uh, okay, so I have to translate this, I guess? Okay, so the golden rule, think twice. Kogido, think. So we know what Kogido means. 
So it's two, two. I'm so it's two and two. I'm guessing. Two, two. Now the question is, what are the other two things there? All right. Because so that's the golden rule. Think twice. So two, two, and those are golden there. There's too many possibilities on that thing to, to just brute force it, so... Okay, I mean, we've got we've got a bunch of pieces of many things, but I don't... know what it expects me to do here. Someone's studying this tablet, it must be important. Yeah, like... I mean, I can try this again, and we can try inputting things twice, so right, right, up, left, 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 left. No? Um, maybe this means, like, down is up, so let's try right, down, left, left, left. Yeah, oh, I think this one's gonna get me. I think this one's gonna get me, it is. Because I can, I can view these, but... Like, what does this actually do for me? Not much, as far as I can tell. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, I don't- I don't know what I'm supposed to get from that. Oh, and then the, maybe- maybe- maybe that's the final- the final ones here. Golden rule, think twice, think for, therefore I am, da da da. So yeah, the two- might be those exhibits that I can- that I can examine over here. So, didn't it give me something? Just flip through. So... There's gotta be something, It's it's gotta be something to do with these, right? Two. But I don't know how that corresponds. Oh, let's, let's look at this. All escapists forge their own destiny. An escapist goes above and beyond. Escapist takes pride in their work. An escapist weighs the options. Uh, pride in their work, above and beyond, weighs the options. Well, the weighs the options makes me think of the scale. And it's also saying go above and beyond, so I don't know what that means. Like, that looks like a symbol or something. It's just a, like, little buckler, though. So there were scales. So right here. Weighs the options. And I don't know what it would be that above and beyond. I mean, this is like a crow skull, right? What about, I mean, we can try like 4-8. I, I don't think that's the solution though. At all. But, I mean, I should at least try it. No. Okay, um... Hmm. Oh wait, is just is it just Ergo Sum is next? Maybe? So... Maybe that's it, so five... Seven. Maybe? Okay, that is it. So it's just you do the okay, other two. Good start. Just a couple more tiles. We'll make it. Okay, so that's that's way that's the way the options one. Okay, so we got that one. Cool. Now what? So the the way the options was uh, right there. So escape it goes above and beyond, forges their own destiny, takes pride in their work. So I need an hour- yeah, I, I just need a few more things. Like, I figured that out, but... The door's been locked from the outside! Oh, we're doomed! We sure are. Um... So does this correspond to, like, these things over here? No. Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, it's just directions. And directions make sense for this over here. But I don't know what directions it's expecting of me. Hmm. I mean, that looks like the tab icon, so is it just like telling me to press tab? I don't think so. So... Yeah, I just... I don't know. 
Right, right, down, left, 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 left. No. See, I, I don't know what the little, like, little marks in the middle of those arrows are supposed to mean. I think I'm totally done with this place. That place, I got. It's this, these other things that are stumping me. Hmm. And yeah, this one's obviously supposed to be standing up. Oh! Wait, is that not the direction? Oh, it's knocked over. Okay. Oh, wait, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay, never mind. See, I thought that was an arrow, and I thought it was telling me to... Yeah, I, but it's just the stand that those things were hanging on. It's missing one, and that's how I'm supposed to know. So this is down up. So we just gotta do right, up, left, down, up, left. Okay, so do I have to input them twice? So right, right, up, left, down, up, left, left. There we go. It's okay. All gonna be fine. It's okay. <laughs> All gonna be fine. <laughs> All right, we managed to do it. My God. Okay, and I got an hourglass and a crank handle, so I immediately know what to do with those. Okay, that's chamber. done. Escapist history crumbled before our very eyes. Okay, there's a crank missing. So I have to make it match up here, right? So how do I do that? So X. Uh, this crank below looks promising. So. Huh. So there's not an X there. What's the big one? That's not what I need. Where is just an X? Oh, do I have to? Okay. I think maybe I see what's going on here. Possibly. Okay, so this turns the two small ones, this turns the two bigger ones, and this just turns the tiny one. Oh god, this is gonna destroy me. You know what? Let's let's go take care of this first. This just needs to be put on its side, and then I can just focus on the final puzzle here. Um, and then we have to do this. Right? There we go. Open. Oh god, there's another one in here. Of course there is. T-V-O-B-J... B-J's? G-J-S-F. Uh... Asia... Zero, zero BNFS job. Okay. I mean, BJS. Can I? I would say GJSF. What am I doing? Oh my gods. What am I? What is. Uh? B A. Oh god. BJS JDB. In America. What? And the world is going over here. And yeah, those say TiVo. BTJB. In America. But what does this correspond to? I have no idea. We got like symbols here? What does this mean? There's no symbols up there. I thought for a second. Maybe like the solution would be up there. I am not getting this. I don't know how to do the next puzzle, or this one. So I think we're just boned. So... Um... I mean... Let's see... G-J-S-F. So we must have to... Look on these things. BMNF's job, yeah. BJS. JSS, TiVo, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I legitimately have absolutely no idea. This might be another one that we're gonna have to do again. At least I can go a little bit faster this time because uh, I kind of know. Oh wait, but okay, this is orange, so... Orange TVO. Now what does that mean? I... I don't know what that means. So orange... Can I find TVO on one of these? And then it says B-A. 
Uh, VGS, yeah, TVO. Do you have TVO? No. Mm hmm. I'm not seeing TVO anywhere. Okay, I don't know what these globes are for then. Because TVO probably corresponds to the orange ring on this globe, right? The question is why? TVO. Okay, well, I mean, I'm probably gonna fail this attempt, but we can try again and see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, I thought when I got to the end I wouldn't be able to one-shot things anymore. I've gotten way too lucky, so... TVO. Yeah, I just don't know what these are supposed to correspond to. There's also only three rings, but there's four globes and... It's it's a whole it's a whole big thing. And it says B is actually A over there, so I mean BJS is right here, so BJS and then what's left is like GDB, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting something out of that. Uh so that's supposed to say Africa. So do these correspond to the actual names of the various places they're on? Yeah, so North... Yeah, North America. Okay, so when they're scrambled, it's taking place of what is normally there. So this is Asia. Okay. Wow, this is a really in-depth one. 20 minutes for this one is not a lot of time. GJSF. Okay, well, I'm learning things about this. That's why I'm trying to run out my time here, because I want to make sure I learn as much as I possibly can. So, yeah. And then this one's Europe, right? Yeah, okay. So we got... We, we found the four continents. Now the question is, what, what am I supposed to do with this information? Because these are supposed to correspond to this somehow, and these globes have to come into play in some way. I have no idea how, but they do. So... TVO. Yeah, I mean, at least with the next attempt here, I can just kind of go through this super quickly. And we can have more time to sit around and try and solve these puzzles. I don't have anything here. Yeah, I keep thinking I'm like, am I supposed to find the letters that it's listing? on these, but I don't think I am. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm stumped with this one. We'll, uh, we'll redo it, and uh, I'll attempt to solve that puzzle, I think, and then we'll save this one for last, so. I'm just gonna have to redo a few things here. This is it! <coughs> it's been an honor. I don't want to get the continue five extra minutes. I would rather just restart it, so. I'll see you when I get back to that point. Alright, I do believe I've done everything else that I did earlier, so... Now we're good. Well, that reminds me, I never utilized you idiots last time. How do you come into play? Are you red herrings, or are you actually important? I don't feel like they would give me red herrings. So I must have to do something with you, because yeah, no, that makes sense. I would get one from this, one from that. Yeah, so we do need more of these things. Okay. So there's another puzzle over there I just never even discovered last time. God, this is a really difficult one. But, I mean, we're gonna try and do it, so... Now that we've got that going again, you're open. I'm not going in there yet, but you are open, so... Alright, let's put the crank in here and see if I can solve this puzzle. So... What I thought needed to happen here was... So if we look at the clock, we there has to be a reason we look at this clock. So we probably need to get these hourglasses somehow onto X, 6, and 2. Now, the question is, how do we do that? So... Especially considering... I don't even see any of those numbers here. 
Um, so that's gonna be a weird one. So what am I supposed to do here? I can kind of... Well, there's six. Okay, so we have six. Now... Where is a two? Anywhere? Does the big one have a two? No, it might be the empty section. Yeah, why are these empty sections here? Am I supposed to line those up? Hmm. I'm, I'm very confused about what this wants from me. And it's going to make it even more confusing because things change like that. Okay, wait, no. They all have the same things. They all show the same... Yeah, they all show the same... Uh, the same numbers. Okay, so... What does that do for me? I was thinking I could maybe get two by covering up... A part of one of these... Oh, they don't have the same numbers. Never mind. Th this has 12, 11, and 6. The tiny one does. The middle one has 12, 6, and 3. And the big one has 11, 6, and 3. Hmm. Yeah, wow. Okay. Color me confused. I mean, I, I at least don't feel as stuck bad as I was last time. I just feel like I'm missing something here that I need to see, but... Okay, I think that's the position that this one needs to be in, because it perfectly mimics that. Now the only problem is we need to get a 2 up there, and then just an X up here. Which... How do I just get an X in the top like that? I do not know. Oh my god, we got it. Okay, okay, open. Yeah, okay, so you had to like line it up like that, and I did it there. You, you kind of have to obscure other things and get it. I, th I think that's how I did it. I mean, I, I put the, the, the six for the big one at the bottom. Basically, you had to get the big one into position first, then the medium one, and then like, you know, get the small one correct, uh, because it only moves by itself, so you can kind of just, you know, turn it how you need it uh, to go without swapping the other ones around, but we got it. I didn't even- it happened so fast, I didn't even really get to see my final solution, but I'm guessing it worked out correctly there. Okay, so- oh, there's another puzzle room. God, 20 minutes for this one feels crazy, but maybe I'm just bad at these puzzles. So, this is upside down. They really got flipped on its head. Yep, sure did. Okay, and I have to put something in here. Aha, and it's these. Okay, so this is where the exhibits come in. Yeah, so that that one wasn't too bad. I didn't even see like the the last bit of the final solution with the clock, but I got the 6 into place and then I got the 2 into place and then I just started spinning that final one and it just kind of locked it in. Okay, so we need these, like, skulls. Um, so that's nine. So a skull is nine. So... Nine is what I need you to be on. And I'm pretty sure the crow skull was eight. So... And then we do... Nine again. And then the final one's like a cow head. I hope- I hope I don't have to do it, like, reversed. So, the cow head was... Six. Right? But since it's upside down, I wonder if I have to put the six and the nine in upside down? I don't know. So... One... Zero... One... Okay, there's six. Six is not doing anything, so I'm doing something wrong. 
Also, these don't go in order. Let's try doing them upside down. So this should be six. This should be six. There we go. So it wanted us... Okay, it wanted us to do it upside down. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Wait, what am I doing with this? What? Huh? Wait, there's more in that room? Oh my god, this is a long one. So, this is above and beyond, right? Forge their own destiny. Above and beyond. There we go. Okay, I have ten minutes. I can't believe there's still more puzzles. So wait, what is this? Uh... This is just like a ladder maze? Never seen something like this in my entire life. Can comfortably say, never seen something like this. I mean, I did it pretty easily there. Now, is, is this gonna have. What is this, pull? I flipped it, but what did it do? I. Beats the hell out of me, friends. I don't know what that did. What? Oh my god, what is going on here? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, at least this is pretty easy, though. We got that, so... Okay, I went the wrong way. Yeah, this I can do. More of this, please. Instead of, like, the crazy logic puzzles. Because those are not bad. Little mazes. I can do that. Okay. There's another strange tile. Oh, that probably just opened up the a door for this, right? Okay, so now we just have one more left. I just need to solve whatever's going on in that globe room. Which is easier said than chamber. done, of course. Well, it was never my favorite. Um, pride in their work. Is that this one? It's pride in their work forges their own destiny. That's probably this one. Yeah, so this last one probably goes there. It takes pride in my work. So... All right, we just have to figure out what is going on here. So I think I'm gonna bash my head against this a little bit because we've already seen me kind of do that earlier. So we don't need to see that again. Okay, I've tried turning the globes to where each of the letters are. That doesn't appear to do anything. So we got like T, O, and then I have a V right here. That doesn't seem to do shit, so... I'm very confused and don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, wait, are... Oh, okay, 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 so wait, wait, wait. Are we translating? So, they're scrambled, but we know what they're supposed to say. So, are we supposed to translate what each letter is? So, O equals N for North America. B equals A, that's totally what we're supposed to do. That's totally what we're supposed to do, and then we're supposed to translate the things over here. Okay, so I just need to find what each of these letters mean. That's what it is. Okay, so T is an S. So T equals S. So good, all right, all right, now we, now we get it. That's an obtuse one. And then this is Europe, so V is a U. So, V equals U. And then... The uh, last one was an O. And we know O is, uh... So, it's sun. Sun. So, O equals N. Okay, okay, yeah, that's an obtuse one, jeez. So... Orange is sun. We can probably just kind of... Uh, brute force some of these other ones because you're three, so it has to be a three letter thing. So, leaf is not it, clock is not it, mountains is not it, bolt is not it, wind is not it, bow and arrow, trophy. Okay, no, never mind. It, it just said BJS, so I'm like, okay, well, we know B, we do not know B. Okay, what is B? B is an A. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know, no, we know B. So B equals A. So, now that we know that, J, where is a J? J is right here. So, A, S, I. So, I. Okay, so it's, uh, it's probably air. 
And we saw like wind, so that's probably it. And we saw T equals S, but what does S equal? So A M E R. So it is air. It's air. Okay, so so the blue one is air, which is probably the gust of wind as I've been over. So there it is. So that's right. And now this last one we can just we can just turn until we get it. There we go. Okay, that was a weird one. Our ticket to bring the town. Oh my god, that one was that one was wild. Not the chamber of knowledge. That one was wild. But we did it. We did it. Boom. But I put them in the wrong spots. So let's put you right there. You right there? Or is that the that's that's what I just did. So you right there. And you right there. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Let's let's get all these. Escapist that goes above and beyond, that is the bird. Uh, an escapist that forges their own destiny, that is the smith. And yeah, there it's we go. Let's get out of here. Okay, we did it. That one we that survived. one was fun. I wish I could say the same for the library. That one was fun. I didn't have too hard of a time with that one. There were there were some fun there were some fun puzzles in that one. The the globe thing definitely was the hardest for me to wrap my head around, but we managed to pull it off. That was cool. Alright, if it weren't for you, I'd be burnt to a crisp where there's smoke. I still feel like 20 minutes for that one to solve all of it on the first try? Oh my god, that seems crazy hard, right? There were so many puzzles to solve, some of them very obtuse. 20 minutes, it feels like a 30 minute one, but what do I know? Maybe that's supposed to Maybe that's easier than I think, so... Yeah, alright, we did that. Yeah, but the library burned down? Good thing you were there. Wow, rude. I bet you're the one that started the fire. Don't be mean to Jeb. No! The library? You really think someone locked the front door on purpose? You had to know I was inside. I had a study room reserved. You don't think someone was... <laughs> no, who would do that? But it sure didn't seem like I was supposed to make it out of there. This just doesn't make sense. Oh, it's totally... it's totally eel. Eel is a super evil. I mean, you look pretty evil, to be fair, so... Alright, well, I think that's a good spot to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.